Welcome back, welcome back. This is still Why in the Morning. Thank you for staying with us. If you're just joining us, you're on time for the first conversation on sport on tech. This uh, We talk on matters technology. And today we have innovators in the house who will be talking to us about an election management system that they have come up with. And for this we have Edward Malanga and uh, Joshua Karisa. Karibuni sana. Santa sana. Thank you. Uh, how are you feeling to be in White Five Four? Really great. We're glad to have you. Yeah, yeah, we're really happy to be here. So, so the hashtag to use, remember, is why uh, the hashtag to use is uh, Thursday Vibes at White Five Four channel. So, tell us about this system that you have developed. Uh, but first, tell us who you are and what you do. Okay, my name is Edward uh, Malanga. I am the business and um, development business development and communications officer for Apple Limited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, as well, of course, I'm a developer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Joshua, tell us who you are, what you do. Uh, well, um, I'm Joshua Carissa, and I'm the product manager of Apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm basically, pro uh, managing the product out here. Okay. So yes. what is Apple? You've mentioned Apple. Apple. Tell us about it. Well. Uh, Apple basically is a company that we came up with to uh, give our people this product, this wonderful product that we developed mm -hmm. to help them uh, easily manage the election mm -hmm. and maybe in future have a very transparent election mm -hmm. for Kenyans to be more confident in themselves. Okay, so yeah. you've come up with a system to uh, enable transparent elections. Absolutely. All right, Edward, tell us more about this system. Okay. The electoral management system. Yeah. Well, um, you can also attest to the fact that um, the, uh, the elections in Africa, mm -hmm. or rather in Kenya, have been characterized by so many complaints mm -hmm. uh, due to the various malpractices that happened during and uh, even before the election exercises. So, for the first for the first time, the candidates will have an opportunity to actually manage their own results mm -hmm. and also uh, have the analysis. And um, at the same time, uh, it gives them the freedom to verify uh, their, their results independently. Okay. Yeah, so that's the essence of the system. All right. So from what I'm getting is that this system is for mostly for the candidates. Not only the candidates, uh -huh. but as well, uh, we have uh, election observers, we have NGOs, mm. other institutions who are interested in the, um, in the elections. Of course, we have um, the parties also so mm -hmm. it covers uh, all those uh, type of groups of people okay yeah. so joshua this system is not the, is it the system that replace the current ibc system that we have or is it a cop complementary system to the current <laughs> system that we have interesting uh, okay we're not here to uh we're not here to replace ibc we're just there to complement them mm -hmm. just uh what we're doing is really giving an opportunity for every candidate or every uh, interested party out there mm -hmm. do what they've always been doing, mm -hmm. but faster and in a smarter way. Okay. Yeah. So basically to make sure that whatever is going on, yeah. you you have evidence. Absolutely. <laughs> you have a it, glimpse. You have yeah. a glimpse of what is happening. You have a glimpse. You can see happening. it by yourself. Yeah, in real time. Uh -huh. yeah. So have you collaborated with IBC so that you can... Um, Work through it together, or is it an independent thing? It, yeah, it's actually an independent yeah, thing. Yeah, it, it's uh. actually an, in, an independent thing. We don't want to mislead anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that is where we are. We are actually covering the political parties and candidates. Mm -hmm. We don't have anything to do with IBC. The system. Okay, yeah. the elections are done how it's usually done, and yes. you are just. Uh, dealing with the candidates and uh, the election overseers and the media. Yeah, of course. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, Joshua, have you used this system before or is it just being introduced? All I can say is um, for security purposes, mm -hmm. uh, we, it, okay, we have load tested it with over 100,000 simultaneous uh, connections mm -hmm. and it can actually handle that per second, that is. Mm -hmm. So I can say it's uh, pretty much good for that. So it's actually active. Yeah. Have you used it in any elections? For security purposes, <laughs> again. <laughs> but I don't understand <laughs> why it's for security purposes because if it's if, if you've used it, yes, you've yes, used it. Yes, so yes, yeah. Actually, let me just say yes, we've used it. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you don't want to dec disclose where you've where used it. Where we actually use yeah. it, yeah. But uh, in this elections that we're heading to, uh, is, is the it the first time? 
in Kenya, in this Kenya is the it first will be the first time. time. Ah, the 2022 yeah. general yeah. election. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ah, okay. So we want to know how exactly it's being used, and then you'll tell us other, you know, other uses that it has, other functionalities. Oh, yeah. But first, give us a demonstration because we like we like to, you know, see it with our eyes to believe okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so, um, so can you see that? Yes, uh, the camera will get you, so just take us through how it is first. Okay, so what I've done here, I've actually logged in beforehand because mm -hmm. there's a lot that goes on at the back end, mm -hmm. so I've logged in as a candidate. So what happens here is when you come in as a candidate, let me see you're the presidential candidate, mm -hmm. we so onboard you. I am, uh -huh. Yeah, you are the presidential candidate, okay. so we onboard you to the uh -huh. system. And of course, you have your agents on the ground that you've entrusted with the work of mm -hmm. very fine results. So I come with my own agents? You come with your yeah. own agents. Mm -hmm. So we train your agents first on how they're going to be using the system because mm -hmm. as a candidate, you're going to be having a dashboard. If you can see my screen, that is now the typical dashboard of the candidate okay. um, on their side. And of course, the agent, they're going to be having their own side. Mm -hmm. So uh, on your end now, what you do here is you're able to see what all your agents that you have deployed across all polling stations mm -hmm. are actually taking up. So they have, they, they have to wait for the results to be counted, of course, mm -hmm. for them to get access to the declaration forms mm -hmm. and uh, the final result that is on the polling station level. Mm -hmm. So uh, the application on the agent side uh, enables the agent to actually take a photo of the declaration form and then applause that declaration form to our servers, mm -hmm. okay? So once that happens, uh, immediately the system, what it does is it, it updates uh, the information on on the candidate side here. So let me get you from there. Uh, the agent is at the polling station. Yeah, the polling station. So they take a picture of the declaration form. Yes. And then they send it to your system. They send to the system. So that's system. how you have it in the system. Yeah, that's how you're gonna have it in the system. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, the candidate on their end can actually now see exactly what is happening on the ground across all the polling stations in Kenya. Let me say if now you are the presidential candidate. Mm -hmm. Now you have agents across Kenya, so you're having maybe uh, Nairobi County or Rift Valley, or let me say Kisumu, Nyanza, whatever. Mm -hmm. So once you have these agents on the ground, they're going to be relaying that information to you directly. Mm -hmm. And the process is supposed to be taking less than like two minutes. So okay. it's going to be like real time information. Okay, so, so can we see? Uh, can we see it? Okay, yeah, sure. There? Yeah. All right. Okay, they will project it. Uh, they will zoom in into it. All right. So mm -hmm. um, what you're seeing here on the desktop is uh, mm -hmm. the the dashboard of uh, of one of the uh, presidential candidates. Mm -hmm. Just to make it very realistic, just pick to one of the real presidential oh, candidates. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. So. Uh, they have the election, they can actually observe the election here. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to click on the first tab here, that's the elections tab. Mm -hmm. As you can see, when you click on that, mm -hmm. it takes them directly to where, to this analytical tool where they can actually visualize and see everything that is happening on the ground in real time. Mm -hmm. So what you're seeing there are basically results that have been sent from other counties by agents mm -hmm. but now we are also going to demonstrate how an agent now does the whole thing mm -hmm. from the polling station now and until uh, the candidate actually gets the results here okay sure. yeah so we've mm -hmm. actually preloaded the information first to just get a glimpse of what how is it, happening mm -hmm. there and uh, okay so uh, let, let's just uh, play the agent <coughs> okay yeah, so as you can see here, uh, it gives quite an interesting view of everything and you can uh, roll over in terms of, of graphs and it shows you visual presentation mm -hmm. of what is happening on the ground. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting stuff here. So if All you right. want to, to compare the graphs, uh, yeah, something like that. So you mm -hmm. can do that very, very quickly. All right. Yeah, so... So now you can see whether you're winning or you're not. Or you're not or winning, yeah, uh -huh. in whatever um, in whatever the, the polling station. Uh -huh. So what you're seeing here, the two graphs, if you can see that very clearly. So the first graph is the graph of mm -hmm. that shows the results that come from the agent directly. Mm -hmm. And the second graph is supposed to be showing us the results that we have vetted. Okay. So, ideally so this is the first graph? 
this is the, you see here there are two graphs there there oh, are okay. two graphs here mm -hmm. so the first one is on the left side the other one is not populated because the results are not vetted here oh, right yeah so once the results are vetted then you see a visual presentation of what is happening here mm -hmm. so ideally the results are supposed to be telling so mm -hmm. the, we vet the results and then you see now these are the vetted results from oh for mass mm -hmm. yeah if there is a discrepancy definitely there are a few things that we have to do on our end to make sure that everything mm -hmm. is uh actually up and running okay okay so uh, edward you look like you want to say something actually everything has already been highlighted mm -hmm. i just wanted to make sh mention the fact that um that is just the presidential uh, uh elective position mm -hmm. but also we have uh, all the elective posts mm -hmm. yeah and they are also able to do the same things Mm -hmm. So number one, they they must upload the the form if it is presidential. Of course, that's the third four A from the polling station. Mm -hmm. So we trust the first document that, that you comes. Receive. Yeah, okay. so that will come only from the polling station. Mm -hmm. So once they upload, they also have to key in the figures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that we can we can uh, compare the two two entries. So okay. we also have a team of vetters who mm -hmm. receive the the forms. Okay. that have been scanned by the agents mm -hmm. and they uh, the team of vetters now compare if uh, maybe there was some typo some data errors we are able to rectify it from our end mm -hmm. yeah so it takes uh, my point is it takes the least time for a candidate to get the accurate results in real time yeah in real time okay yeah uh, okay Jisha, back to you okay so um let me just take it through. That. Can you see my phone here? Mm -hmm. Let's see my phone. Uh, we'll zoom into yeah. it. Yeah, they should zoom in. Uh, uh, okay. Continue. Mm -hmm. okay, so what you're seeing here is now me as the agent playing the agent. I've okay. logged in into the system mm -hmm. using the application. Mm -hmm. Now it gives me a few options quite interesting. The first option is I can stream news directly from the polling station. So mm -hmm. if there is any sort of malpractice at the polling center, so I can, can take that. Okay. directly and upload that in the server. So you're taking a video? Yeah, video. you take videos, yeah, you, you like can, short you videos. You can take a video. You can ah. just stream it, yeah. So, from uh -huh. the so in case yeah. of any more Anything, practice, yeah, you just take yeah. that and it's upload recorded. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. very interesting. And uh, the second feature here is you can either take the picture of the declaration form mm -hmm. or just upload it directly. So I'm going to upload one mm -hmm. um, very, very quickly. Sorry about that. Um, just upload one quickly here so that you can see what is happening. So I've uploaded the form. This is just a random form. This is not an actual declaration form. form. <laughs> because we don't it's have a it form here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what you can see below that um, are the names of the candidates mm -hmm. that are vying for presidency. Of course, you're going okay. to be having more than that. These are just yeah. for, for demo purposes. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see all the names of all the candidates vying, I'm sorry about that. Um, Snapchat me some angle, Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, you're seeing the names of all the candidates. Mm -hmm. So what the agent does, remember, they've already uploaded the form to the system. Mm -hmm. Then the second part is supposed to be filling in the results here okay. manually. So what they do is, you can let me say this is 58, mm -hmm. uh, 50, for example, let me say 46 and uh, 69 and maybe 50 something like that okay mm -hmm. and then below that you can see there's another option of invalid votes let me say we have two invalid votes okay. and the rest of them just put a random number here is 250 the total number of votes okay mm -hmm. so this is not the agent sending information to the system yeah to the system okay now they submit that very quickly and once they submit the data now from their end mm -hmm. this election from the end is going to be closed okay. okay so just let it there okay that is it so once it's done mm -hmm. it's done so they can't send any other election again so it's closed from that there. is closed mm -hmm. it could only be opened if there's a problem let me say the the forms are not very very clear so they want to repeat the process mm -hmm. they contact the centers allow for we reopen uh, yeah, server. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> server. Okay. Yeah, so um, while that is happening now, um, the candidate on their end are seeing this information streaming in live here very quickly. As you can see, the figures have changed. Mm -hmm. So because we've updated that information. We've updated from the agent. information, so yeah. now it's coming to the yeah. 
Now re time. remember that is happening to thousands of agents across the country mm -hmm. per yeah. second. That is happening very, very quickly. So you can see these results right in front of you while it's happening. Wow, quite interesting, quite interesting. So how did you come up with this? Why do you feel the need to come up with this, Edward? Yeah, okay. Um, uh, I, won't, I, won't, I wouldn't like to go back in history, but we, we, some of us have an experience working with uh, the commission, of course. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, but the, actually the, the need um, for having the system is the fact that there are so many malpractices mm -hmm. during the, the elections. So uh, we found it um, uh, very necessary and uh, sensible enough to come up with a, a system that mm -hmm. would help at least govern the, the election um, uh, in a very manageable way and very transparent way for the candidate. Okay, so if uh, in the case of there's an election malpractice and the candidate uh, was in your system and knows this, these are the votes I got via this. Yeah. So now if they go to court, uh, will this hold as evidence? Yeah, yeah. No. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Le Absolutely. Le let me pick it then, my colleague will okay. continue. Mm -hmm. So, uh, one great feature for the, f uh, for, for the system is mm -hmm. um, evidence gathering. That okay. is a very important thing because um, I know most of the candidates use the traditional ways. They give uh, uh, notebooks to agents to go and fill in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they don't have a central place where that data goes. So we are, we are providing them with the service mm -hmm. and the space for them to, to have the data. They can request it at any time wow. in case of any mm. petition. So there's, we, there's it, enough storage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, wow. Yeah. Uh, you want to add to that? Yeah, yeah. So uh, as he, I just want to, to reiterate what he just said. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens is, you know, everything that comes to the system remains there as yours to use for good. Mm -hmm. And if maybe you feel like you want to use that information maybe to, 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 to fight for your rights, mm -hmm. you know, you can always use that because it's inform this is your information. Really. Mm -hmm. It's credible public information, information. Yeah. credible information, public information. Mm -hmm. Anyone could have actually, you could have, uh, you, you, could have you, you, you could have actually um, have access to that, but in maybe in an older version of ways maybe mm, a lot of paper yeah, the traditional, traditional system yeah, so mm -hmm. it takes a lot of time to gather the papers and everything but right now you have everything you have your videos that show hey there was something mm -hmm. fishy going on here so maybe your agents might be compromised but you can't compromise the system wow yeah. quite straight uh, yeah. quite interesting yeah. i'd like to know some of the other functionalities because i know there are other functionalities that the system has yeah okay it also have has an an apple now the apple tool for mm -hmm. yeah so so we give uh, a candidate the priority to actually test the 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 polls uh -huh. yeah so before the election before the election okay. so he, the candidate will be able to know where to put more muscles in mm -hmm. yeah the, based on the popularity of uh, certain regions and also so, mm -hmm. it's an analytical tool so that means we are also advancing at, as time goes mm -hmm. so by the time the next election comes we will have improvised the system to serve even more detailed um, functionality to our clients who are the candidates of political parties. Mm -hmm. So the information that is stored will be used to actually come up with even projections of elections of different candidates mm -hmm. in the near future. Okay. Yeah. So what's, what, what type of polls can one conduct uh, maybe for an MCA mm -hmm. in a certain uh, ward? So what, what type of poll would they conduct? Okay, basically just the normal polls as we know them. Like you just need to go to the system, you create mm -hmm. a poll. Maybe you want to know uh, how popular you are in a certain area. Uh. So you create that poll within the system. Then so what kind of question would you ask maybe? The kind of the question. candidate, yeah, maybe who's the favorable candidate? Yeah, in like I mean, who would you vote for? Like you want to know what your position is in mm -hmm. a certain area. So maybe you're running for the N MCA, and then you have other five competitors. Mm -hmm. So you want to know, are you are you popular enough in that area? So okay. you just ask that simple question and add all the other candidates with you. So, so you're going to get that real time result from the ground that they feel like, oh, mm -hmm. now I'm not doing my work here very, very well, okay. so I need to put in more muscle here. So now, it brings in the aspect of the data. Now, where will you get the data of the subjects that you're going to send that poll to? Okay, uh, we, we are using social media, really, by the way. Mm. We are using social media because of uh, Data Protection Act and stuff like that, so we can uh -huh. access real data for people. So mm -hmm. what we do is 
of course you're having as a candidate you have your pages and your social media platforms mm -hmm. so we're going to be using those platforms i mean the candidate will be using these platforms to you know to push the, the 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 pollings to these people and get results from them okay yeah what other functionality do you have as we you know wrap this up okay um th those are the main ones uh-huh yeah okay yeah those are and the main functions okay what technology uh does it run under okay it's on cloud we don't install the system uh, on mm -hmm. gadgets yeah okay. so it's on cloud um mm -hmm. i'll leave that to to my colleague to expound on it. Uh, yeah. Maybe we can touch on that quickly. Okay, about, about the technology, all, all we can say is we use the most robust tech stack mm -hmm. that can be available today. So very, very reliable, mm -hmm. very um, uh, advanced and uh, well vast team of technical developers uh, engineers behind everything. So, for security purposes, um, I cannot disclose the whole uh, thing for security purposes. We yeah. understand that. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, tell us what are the future advancements for th that you see for this system and EPOL in general. So, you'll tell us for this system, and then he'll close it with the future advancements he sees for EPOL as the company. Yeah, for for the system, since we we are a company that uh, wants to satisfy our clients. 100% mm. we would also do uh, follow ups on how how so you won the election so what next mm -hmm. you see so we are able to to give you like um, predictions recommendations and everything uh, will come actually from the system so we are going to tailor it based on how uh, the situation changes mm -hmm. yeah as time goes by we have to to tailor it to to become as e as efficient as possible Okay. Yeah. So for efficiency. Yeah, efficiency wow. matters. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I think EPOL is not just a Kenyan story that we want to change. Mm. We just want to change the African story altogether. Mm. So what we believe is we do believe in transparency, transparent elections, and of course more efficient elections for the candidate to feel safer in their own space, in their own way, in whatever election they're going to be taking part in. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're seeing ourselves in the future. All we believe in is just transparency. Transparency yeah. all the way. All the way. Uh, close with a word of encouragement for a youth out there that wants to do some great innovation like the one that you have. Okay. Um, <laughs> all I can say is no dream is too big and if your dreams are, if your dreams don't scare you then you haven't dreamed big enough they're not big enough yeah. edward yeah, yeah. well uh, i would love to encourage uh, uh, youths uh, all over the world it's not about just kenya it's mm -hmm. anyone with a dream any idea that you have you have to amplify it at least make uh, the first step let the people see you will have to toil around mm -hmm. yeah people will laugh at the idea but at least if you can make something work do it by yourself first so that the world can see you are capable and others will join, join hands, of course, Amazing. to change the world. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys for coming on board. Thank you. And we wish you the best in this technology. Continue representing us to the world. Uh, thank Thanks. you. So that has been uh, our first interview on the electoral management system from e uh, representatives from EPOL Limited. And they're doing great stuff. You have heard from them. So now we take a short break and we'll be back for the next interview. Don't go too far. This is why in the morning the hashtag to use is Thursday Vibes.